Edinburgh Drone Company recently delivered another DJI M30T to a mountain rescue team. Galloway in southwest Scotland are just one of the many MRTs to add this latest UAV tech to their arsenal. I joined them on a training exercise in the mountains of Galloway where they looked for a casualty, both sweeping and searching on foot, as well as using the drone in the air. Team leader Stuart Gibson has been pivotal to the merging of traditional search methods and the pioneering of how the M30T can be used in any scenario. They are one of the most advanced teams in the UK that continue to push the capabilities of the M30T and how it can be used in first responder scenarios. I sat down and had a chat with him once the training exercise was over to discuss how the M30T has impacted the way they work as a mountain rescue team. Hi, my name is Stu Gibson, I'm team leader of uh, Galloway Mountain Rescue Team and we're here today conducting a training exercise uh, using our new Mavic M30T drone. What we've got, we've got a drone team of three of us. Uh, we've been tasked to search an area in the hill behind us. Um, we're looking for a casualty, 63 year old casualty, who's out on the hill. We've managed to find the casualty and we've got the rest of the team that are making their way up with first aid equipment. Um, the drone is absolutely integral uh, to part of the search. What we're doing now, we're getting the drone up. It's giving an overview of the search area um, and it's helping lead other team members into the casualty. For searching, we've devised a technique whereby we will use the pin markers on the Flight Hub software. Um, we'll put the markers around the search area that we're looking at searching uh, and then we'll fly in a grid pattern. The way that we do it, we have the pilot concentrating on flying the drone and we have a sensor operator who has a pair of goggles who is in charge of the searching. The pilot will fly the boundary of the search area uh, and then split it up by flying the grid sections, making sure that we've got a, uh, an accurate search. There's loads of different uses that we have for the, uh, the M30. We're just trying to find out the best way to use it at the moment. Um, not only we can use it for searching, uh, we can use it, the speaker and the spotlight to guide team members into a location. We're using the thermal, we're using the zoom. The zoom in it is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's, it's a very new technology, but we're, we're starting to develop a live stream using the Flight Hub 2 software. So we have a control vehicle. Uh, when we have mobile internet connected to the controller, uh, we're feeding back a live stream to the control vehicle for police, any other agencies that are interested. We can also email that link to anybody outside of the area. So if there's an instant police, instant commander who is looking at seeing what area is being searched, they can log on and uh, see what is being done. Mount's Rescue is being used uh, not only in the hills like where we are today, but also in urban areas. Uh, recently, we were asked by the Port Authority in Stranraer to help out with a oil spill exercise. So we had a, a vessel that um, was leaking fuel into the water. We used the M30 drone, got airborne. We, we actually marked the area where the oil spill was um, and we could keep track of the oil, and see which direction it was heading in. This saves a lot of time and manpower. Normally the ports would deploy spotters on the ground, have up to 20 spotters walking up and down, spotting where the oil spill is. Um, but the drone meant that we could record it and uh, track the oil spill accurately. So this is the bag that we're using to transport the M30. Um, it's a fairly sizable drone at four and a half kilos. So we need team members to be able to transport it safely into the search area. This is the uh, Shimoda bag that we're using. Uh, it's completely waterproof. Um, it's big enough to get the drone, spare batteries, and any of the mountain rescue kit that we also need to bring up the hill. So we're, we're using some of the new advanced features of the M30. Um, for example, the laser rangefinder. It, it's brilliant, but it means that when we fire it at a target, we get a GPS Latin long coordinate. What would be really useful um, is if in the future we could actually get a, uh, an OS grid reference 
In Mountain Rescue, we use grid references the whole time, so having team members to try and convert a Latin long to a grid reference, uh, it's just a little bit time consuming. So we decided to, to purchase the M30 from Edinburgh Drone Company. We've worked with uh, Ross before. Um, we've got a couple of Mavic 2 Enterprise advances, but the thing that was really lacking was the capability to fly in all weathers. Obviously in southern Scotland, we do get a lot of rain. So uh, having this capability of actually being able to get the aircraft um, up in the air in any weather is absolutely fantastic for us. And um, Ross from Edinburgh Drone Company has been a fantastic help in sourcing and supplying the M30.